Hello, welcome to Crystal Core Skills. Just a reminder for those of you who might have not uh, subscribed, please uh, click on the subscribe button, uh, the link under this video to subscribe so that each time when I post a new video, you can just get an alert to, you know, to be the first to, to watch it. So let us look at what uh, this video entails. Today we are going to uh, look at what is called similarity, similarity and uh, congruence, congruence, congruence. So these are the two concepts which are very important in the study of um, the study of geometry because um, um, they help us to check the relationship between two uh, two objects and uh, we are going to start with similarity so similarity is the study uh, as its name suggests is a study of how two objects are similar and to see whether they are related in in many ways in one way or another for example let's say we have uh, this triangle a and we have this triangle B and as you can see this triangle B is very small and this triangle A is uh, relatively bigger now we know that uh, triangle has three three vertices as you can see and that triangle A and B you know the, both of them possess uh, uh, these features like they have three vertices and the three sides uh, such that we can match that one at the top there of that vertex and this one on that vertex and that one on that vertex but as you can see when we draw a line from here to that one the line I mean it goes like like in a shape in a small kind of uh, end side which means that this one is actually a rescale version of that one and that my friend is what uh, similarity is all about similarity is a study of uh, of re the relationship between two objects to see whether one object is a rescale version of the other so clearly from these uh, drawings uh, we know that triangle B is a rescale version of triangle A so they are similar so similarity mainly deals with the study of the shape and as we can see we can judge from the shape uh, to see that these two um, triangles are in fact similar okay let's let's try to have a look at some other shape let's say this is triangle A and we have rectangle B even if you try to match the vertices of uh, this you know one will be left out and from that immediately we know that they are not similar another concept that we are going to look at is uh, congruence congruence or congruency congruence is the study of similarity that's why similarity gives rise to congruence so congruence is the study of similarity or the study of uh, how two objects are similar uh, in terms of their shapes and sizes for example uh, we can have um, like triangle a this is triangle b a b now if that side is equal to that one and that one is equal to that this side is equal to that if all the sides are equal in terms of length or sizes if you like and they are similar for example this one is slanting like that that one is slanting like that that one is slanting like and meeting at the vertex at the top there and they have three vertices if the length are the same, then we say that 
triangle A is similar to triangle B. And uh, sometimes we may have only two sides plus the angle or you can have angles only. Maybe you can have angles, let's say A, B, C, A, B, C. Now, if angle A, B, C for triangle A, if the angles, each of the angles is the same as angle A, B, C for triangle B, if each of the angles are the same, for example, if A is equal to that and B is equal to that, and then C is equal to that, then we say that these triangles are congruent. So the way it is to present it, you can just say triangle A is equal or similar. You just, you know, this is just a convention of present, presenting the congruence in, in geometry B. So triangle A is congruent to triangle B. And that, my friend, brings us to the end of this series uh, and i hope uh, you have gained some uh, knowledge about similarity and congruence and this are uh, this are very these are a very important concept in geometry and it help us to study uh, and manipulate different kind of shapes and sizes and we will use this one in conjunction with uh, the lines and the points that we studied previously to uh, manipulate uh, different shapes and the study of the angle coming next in the next video. Thank you for viewing and I hope this has been informative and I will see you in the next video. Please remember to subscribe subscribe in order to get the alerts. Thank you.